Hey guys, so the original intent of this video was to already have my face done and do the Ipsy Glam, no, the Ipsy, um, yeah, Glam Bag unboxing. That was it. So I went and bought the Julius Place uh, foundation stick. And I, I literally just, this is my first time trying it. And I want y'all to see like I I don't I don't understand like there's a big blob <laughs> on this side and I like how do you even make this work at this at this point like I feel like it's going to be a mess Um, this is my first time using a foundation um, stick. Um, yeah, foundation stick. But I just, oh gosh. Now, when I went in the store, this is why I hate <laughs> trying to find foundation because. For me, like I can find something in the store and be like, oh, all right, all right, that works. That works. And then by the time I get home and actually use it, I'm just like, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. Um. I promise you when I went into the store it was a lot better than what I feel like it is now. Now of course I could be wrong, I'm pretty positive I'm wrong, um, but let me be honest I did not do this um, That's really going to piss me off. Like, that is really going to piss me off. This the case that I might as well just bought. Well, really, not buy because I already have the foundation. The liquid foundation. So with these issues here, I should have just stuck with the damn foundation. I mean, come on, man. You know, and I'm going to say it's me, and I'm not, I'm not going to say it's the foundation stick. I'm going to say it's me. I'm glad I took my pants off because they were white. Because I would be too upset, okay? And yes, I wear white at the Labor Day. <clears throat> I don't know if people still follow that. Um, but I do not. Look, <laughs> look at this. Come on, man. Look at this. Yo, like I am too disappointed. Too disappointed. The foundation stick is 0.34 ounces. Um, I, I guess it's supposed to be easier to deal with. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Give me one second, because I'm supposed to be having a theme and stuff here. Oh. 
Okay. Um, so, my eyes... Um, or, well, I, I don't know how well to show you guys or how to even show you guys. Um, but my eyes are green and gold. I'm telling you, I'm going to get it one day. This this lighting, I'm going to get one day. I don't know if y'all can really tell. Um, but it's green and gold. And then the background is just crazy. I did not do all of that. We're just we're going to figure it out as we go. Y'all going gonna to help me figure it out as we go. Okay, um, so that is that. As y'all know, I bought okay, a con uh, a matchstick from uh, Fenty, so I can learn to do contour. I got mine in truffle because um, I felt the other one was a little bit too dark. Am I doing this correctly? I have no freaking idea. Okay. <laughs> Whatsoever. But we're going to figure this out together. Okay. I am a chunky girl, so for me, having chunky cheeks do not bother me at all. Um, I don't want to suck in skin. So to be honest, for me, contouring is not a big deal, like at all is it a big deal for me. I was watching a video on Facebook um, with a Korean woman that... Um, I mean, the transformation that they do, or that they can do, is crazy. Crazy. That's all we're doing for contour. Now, my original plan when I went to Ulta was to, and I like Ulta, it's pink for the breast cancer awareness, a gorgeous way to give. I went to Ulta for the stick. Okay, that was that was my reasoning to go to Ulta. And then when I went in there, I didn't know that they did color pop. So I decided to, and I wanted to order anyway, but I was only going to order this here, which is the eyeshadow palette, and then. Um, no offense, but I was just going to get the kits for um, the minority princesses, um, which is which is only two, um, and then go from there. I've never really, I'm gonna say I've never really been a Disney fan, but all of these people, I couldn't tell you um, princesses who all of them are. But these are the colors of the palette, which are beautiful. I used. Um, Pip Enchanted was dabbled in um, Quasimodo which is that one Meriwether which is the beautiful blue and then Prince or Frog and Wife here and Miss Potts here which is the green and gold here. And I did green and gold because of Princess and the Frog. I did not get um, the other palette. Now I am going to get another Princess palette that is not a one already because I like red lipstick. Um, I'm not big, as y'all know, I'm not big on pink. So there's no need for me to get it. And I'm not paying $166 on a whole kit. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not doing that. So, this palette here is $22. And when I tell you the pigmentation of this palette is good and awesome, it is good and awesome. Um, now, me looking at my mirror and me looking on here is two different things. And I can actually see the difference um, in the colors. Um, I don't know if you can, how good it is, or anything like that. I am planning on getting me a new phone. Hopefully that works. This here is, I believe, $18 or $16. I don't know where the receipt is, but it's either $16 or $18. And this comes with a lip color and, I believe, a blush. Yep. Blood, uh, pressed powder blush. And that's the box itself, which is just adorable to me. And that's the back. And that very much is the blush here, which is beautiful. And this is the lip color, which is Prince Navin or Navine, because I don't know. So I'm going to say Navine more than Navin. But that's the color. And I believe all the colors for each princess um, is the prince's name. So, um, let us see how this works. Oh, goodness gracious. It is very much powdery. But I... I do like it. I don't know if you can really see it. That might be a little bit too much. <laughs> but I do like it. I used to contour my nose also, and I started a while ago, um, but I don't really do it anymore, um, which I know I can use the matchstick to do it, but, and that was my plan, but I just don't want to sit here all day and play with makeup with you guys, so, yeah. <laughs> Let me do my lip and my hair, and then we're going to go from there. Um, mm, mm, mm. I feel like I'm missing something, and I am. I do not have, I don't know if I'm doing highlighter or not. I don't, I didn't, when I saw this, I thought this was more of a red, uh, pinkish color. like to make this look even I have to go out the lines <laughs> this is not my lips <laughs> but we're gonna use it today okay now all right 
at the end of the video we are going to go through what it is that I used um, actually I don't have to I just basically went through what I used um, but the primer that I used was the oh what was the name of the whole thing can y'all see that This cost me $22, okay? It's 0.24 ounces. Um, it does look like it's going to be a nice amount of product, which I think I already showed you guys already. That's in it, but I used it today, and you can see I barely touched anything except where my nail went in when I did the video the other day. Um, I'm going to have to use it a few times to see what's going on with it. And then go from there. Um, As many of y'all know, I am very much natural. Um, my plan is to do wigs for a while. Um, if I'm not doing wigs, my hair is very much in a protective style. Somewhere, some way, something. Um, I don't know how good y'all can see or not. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to go with uh, today, or should I say tonight. This was not my original plan, um, but I felt like I really needed to show you all and showcase this. I had no idea, like I said, that this was going to be a red color. Um, as you see, it is very much matte. I do love the color in itself. When I saw the videos of the unboxing, I thought it was on a pinkier reddish, more on the pinkier side, but it's not. Okay, so we're doing Ipsy. This video was meant to be for Ipsy, okay? Um, as y'all know, the Ipsy glam bag and the Ipsy. Um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate had a different Betty Boop bag. And I don't have it um, next to me. I thought I did. So, yeah. This bag is my favorite of the two. Um, this bag is my favorite of the two. And I did order another one, but I don't know if I'm getting it this month or not. Or if it's going to kick in for next month, but we will see. Um, oh. And the giveaway is over. I'm going to put that on the screen um, on the other video. But if you do not see it and you're watching this video, know that the Ipsy giveaway is over. The other giveaway is not over, um, but I will choose a winner for that one soon also. And then we can go from there. This video is very much about me trying every product that I purchased. And as y'all know, I did not put on any setting powder. I don't need to really but I just want to see what this setting powder does to my face because most of my setting powders that I have are white or as they say translucent um, and I don't know why I just put that on my eye on my whole eyelid um, yeah but all my setting powders are translucent and with the translucent study powder it has a cast on my face when I use a um, 
flash it makes me look ghostly and white and no offense to white people or the Caucasian race but that I am not and I don't want to look like that because that's again I am not um, I'm going to try the foundation stick again because it might just be me um, but if it's going at the rate that it's going, it looks like it's not going to last as long as a liquid one. And so for me, I probably will not buy another one once that one is paper. So let's get back to the glam bag. Um, don't forget the choice is yours. It's time to get personalized on October 23rd. You get to choose one of your glam bag products. And then using our Ipsy Match technology, we build the rest of your bag to complement your choice. Now, I'm trying to figure out right now if I'm going to do two Glam Bag um, Plus again, because I've been doing Glam Bag Plus two of them for the la for last few couple or few months. I don't remember how long, but for the last couple of few months, I've been doing two boxes together. Um, the reason why I stopped getting two boxes, well, actually, I went to three last month or this month, as you might have seen in my previous video. But I was not happy about it because two of the three boxes was exactly the same. And the third box, the only thing that was different was one product. And I was not happy about that because my quizzes are different. Um, they were not exactly the same. So I don't understand how they curated these boxes for me to be exactly the same like that. Which is why I did a giveaway for one of the boxes because I don't need it. Um... And that's just more product I don't need on top of the ones that I already have you that I'm already giving away. So, anyways, I'm contemplating right now if I should add at least another box this month to see maybe if it was just an accident or what because I've never had two exactly the same. Like I've never had boxes that was so similar. It was just exactly the same. I never have it have had it so. I'm trying to see if it maybe was just this month with them trying to do new things, if it just kind of happened, or if it's going to be a habit. But actually, also next month, you know, the new box comes out for um, Boxy Charms. So I want to do that too. So I might go down to one box, only one box next month for Ipsy, and then in December go back to two, just depending on how Boxy Charm does theirs. Now, if Boxy Charm hits theirs out the park, I'm just going to stay with one box for Ipsy. Well, I do do two boxes for you, but uh, for you guys, but I don't know. I can't make any promises. Anyways, this is being a long video, longer than I um, anticipated it being. So, let's get to it. The first thing that I pulled out is Belief. And this is the True Cream Aqua Balm. It says, Belief creates healthy skin care by merging time-tested herbal traditions with modern Korean skin care. This oil-free gel cream helps boost your skin, boost your skin's moisture level up to 70% and is made with healthy ingredients like plantain and oak husk that protect, nourish, and smooth skin. Tip, smooth a quarter-sized amount onto your face and neck massage the massage then massage until it's absorbed to use it as a mask apply it all over wait 10 minutes then wipe away wipe it away with a damp cloth i don't know why you would use this as a mask but hey to each his own the next thing is um aphrodite the secret of nature of natural beauty um y'all about to say me uh, put a, 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 a cap on my head again Olive oil face mask for all skin types um, with Cretan organic olive oil, 87% natural contents, deep cleansing, instant hydration with aloe vera and spirulina extracts. I don't know what that is. Aphro um, Aphrodite Skin Care uses ingredients that are natural, effective, and feel good on your skin. Made with olive oil that's rich in vitamin A and E, this mask helps hydrate, nourish, and protect your skin plus its antibacterial properties help fight acne um, smooth the quarter size dollop of this mask all over clean skin let's sit for five to ten minutes then rinse with warm water follow up with a moisturizer now this here is 0.51 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters and belief is 0.33 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters 
and then sorry guys it's just itchy my other hair is not itchy like this but I left it in the call um, next thing I have is context skin matte lipstick and say love using herbal extract and rich botanical oil contact skin offers clean beauty products that really work this rosy pink matte lipstick is pretty much perfect thanks to its rich color and creamy consistency it lasts forever and keeps lips hydrated and supple safe to say we're obsessed tip swipe this lipstick onto your lips over a coat of lip balm blot on a clean tissue and repeat for another coat I don't know um but that's what it says so y'all yeah, know how I feel about pink um but this is the color and I just I don't know I don't know I'm not gonna swatch it um at all I like browns and I like reds um I like different color I do I do purple um but for some reason, I haven't been able to get a pink to work with me by itself. Um, but I might I might try it to figure it out. I don't know. But I'm not going to swatch it because I might just give this away. The next thing is this beautiful crown brush, which is double-sided. And it says crown brush CB202. It's a pro chisel fluff and precision crease brush. Crown Brush is a global leader in the brush making business. This dual ended shadow brush has both fluffy and pointy tips so you can apply shadow all over, blend into your eye crease, and add dimension with one multitasking tool. Tip Use the fluffy brush tip to lay down base color and then switch to the pointy side to add depth and dimension to the outer corners of the eye. That's what it says to do with it. Um, as y'all know, I need help doing my eyes and stuff, so I, I can't tell you yes or no. But me, I to see me. This is two colors here. One on each side. I can do two different colors, which is what I did with my poor eyes. Um, and this one, I wouldn't even know what to do with this. This here, but it says precision stuff on the outer corners of the eye um, whatever that means so that is that one and last but not least it is the Betty Boop Ipsy Blink and Wink Mascara which is this here um, I was going to use it just now but as y'all know I bought the kit so there is really no need for me to use it let's see it says introducing our limited edition collection to part in partnership with iconic beauty muse betty boop this last lengthening formula will give your lashes a dramatic lift while separating and defining it doesn't smudge easily and lasts all day without flaking we love it for a long night out hold this wand horizontally and swipe through your lashes from root to tip turn it vertically to coat with uh, your smaller lashes so actually, I am going to try this one. You know, I have a hard time doing mascara. Um, but yo, I... I like this mascara. I don't know if it's because of the wand and the bristles are very small, but for me, um, doing mascara is very much, oh Lord, I just stuck myself in my damn eye. It's very much a task for me because doing my upper lashes, I usually hit my eyelid. So whatever eye makeup I do have, um, it gets messed up. Um, this side is usually worse. So, <laughs> you guys wish me luck. Wish me luck, okay?
also this mascara is wet feeling um, which I don't get that a lot either um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing um, most mascara I use is feels like it's more so on a clumpier side than a liquidish um, soft side if that makes if that makes sense um, it probably does not it probably does not but if that makes sense I did not try the one I had in my box um, not in my box, but in the kit that it came in, I, I did not try that. I only swatched um, the blush and the eyeshadow, and that was it. So, my cap is tight because this is, it's just, y'all can't see it, so whatever. We're going to ignore it. Um, but that is it I I like this bag I do I like this bag um, I'm not getting the ipsy glam bag anymore because I rather have full-size products um, but I guess if I can go and do it every couple of months I would do it because um, I do like the ipsy glam bag um, the ipsy glam bag plus is just so much better to me because it's full-size products it's not a whole bunch of um, samples and I really don't need a whole bunch of samples let's be honest I really don't need a whole bunch of products but I rather have full-size products than a whole bunch of samples and I like the idea that it is very much um, offered so this is the bag once again this is the back of the bag that has little sequins on it but it doesn't uh, flip like the ultimate and plus bag so I like this like I said I like this bag better than the other bag but that is it, you guys, for this video. This was supposed to be a, a very quick video. Unfortunately, it did not turn out that way. But if you stuck with me, thank you guys so much. Um, and until next time, at this bag.